Okay, first look at the Hermit mod. Let's take a look, guys. 77, 75 out of 75. A lone, undead gunslinger from a far away place, haunted by the inescapable scepter of the past. Starting relic is Memento. Memento says, Pain, decay, and regret do not harm you. At the start of combat, shuffle the regret into your draw pile. Excuse me? Excuse me? Pain, decay, and regret do not harm you, and we get regret into our draw pile at the start of combat. I like the animation, the cute little drawing. Looks pretty cool, I must say. Max HP, unless we get a snipe, which we can do. We got snipe here, but this is Ascension Zero, so who's gonna go for a snipe at Ascension Zero? Let's take a look at our deck. Strike, 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 defend, 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 defend. snapshot. Deal 12 damage, dead on. This card has a bonus effect if played from the middle of your hand. What? The location of cards in my hands make a difference? That's a little funky. Exhaust a card. Draw a card. If you exhaust a curse, draw one more. That's funky. What's the upgrade of this? Interesting. I have to deal with the mechanics of where cards are in my hands. Okay, I'll go for three leads. Do you mean if I do this? Okay. On, I get no pain from this. Okay, I like the mechanic. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's different. So if this is the middle of your hand, you get concentration. Concentration makes your next card always get its dead on effects, even if it has if it has any. Ah, so then you can get dead on no matter what. So this helps you get dead on no matter what. Concentration. You get too frail, but you do some decent damage. Malice. Exhaust a card. Deal 16 damage. If you exhaust a curse, you deal 16 damage to all enemies instead. Ooh. Now compare that to the Watcher. The Watcher has a card that does that damage AoE for one cost. Wait. Regret is a little bit better now because we don't get hurt by Regret. We get a Relic, and if we exhaust a Curse, we get more out of Malice. And if we exhaust a Curse with this, we get more card draw. So Regret is actually... Oh, we got Feather. Okay, now we got Sustain. Move a card from my deck. I can move a Strike so I can draw the Snapshot more often. I like gold though. Let's let's remove a strike. All right. More relics. One, two, three, four. Hey, we got the boot. All right, it runs doomed. Whenever a debuff is applied to you, you gain one strength. Interesting. Deal six damage, gain one strength. Exhaust. Dead on. Don't exhaust. If it's in the middle of oh, this is strength scaling. So if this is the, if you play this from the middle of your hand, you do not exhaust it. You keep any strength. Interesting. Hey, okay, you play all strikes in your hand on random targets. Okay, you apply weak and vulnerable. Interesting. You gain dexterity and then lose it. Okay. This is called strength scaling. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. I like it. But it's kind of like slow in comparison to things like. I like Determination a lot. I think it's quite sexy. Wait, is this kind of a this counts as a debuff? Lose three dexterity counts as a debuff, right? Wait a minute. That's that counts as a debuff, no? Or no? I must. Should we test it? I have a lot of curses in my deck. I can't play snapshot. But if I play the strike, 
Boom! Why is the Grunanam harder in Ascension Zero? <laughs> Holy crap. I have lethal, so I'm gonna do this. Three strength, baby. Molten egg, oh, sick. Deal seven damage, apply two weak. This is great, two weak like that. I like it, I like it a lot. Gains three additional block for each of your debuffs. Gain three strength this turn. At the end, lose three strength. Whoa! This also is a debuff. What works with determination? This works with determination as well. Okay, we have a determination deck out of nowhere. And just like that, we got a determination deck, guys. Welcome to my determination deck. Sick. So we gotta apply some self debuffs and gain some strength. Draw two. Not bad. Not a bad turn to get some block, which then gives me strength. Wow. This is a cool concept. I'm giddy. Play this, right? Now, snapshot is a big hitter. Boom. Boom, and look how much strength I gain. Bam! Although, we, we, I'm very happy I got sustained because we're taking lots of damage. Yeah, the sounds are nice. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need to rest in the next campfire. It's a mod, it's a mod, it's a mod. It's in my title. Pocket watch, okay, I like it. Deal 5 damage to a random enemy 3 times, shuffle a doubt. That's pretty good. Shuffle a doubt, we get more card draw from the thing that exhausts curses, and then we also get malice to be AoE. And it, this dumps my strength, right? Add X defense to your hand, they cause 0 this combat. Whoa, this defense plus, and they cause 0. This is an interesting card. Defend plus for 0. This is a deal 10 damage, it gains energy and draw card. This is a pretty good card. Spring Prey gives me. So I want to do another elite. So I want to go here and rest and then do another elite. But over here, I can get some upgrades. Let's do for upgrades. We have sustain. I'm really glad we have sustain. This, this class really wants sustain. So we want to do this. We want to draw a lot of cards with that. We want to get rid of strikes. And then the deck is actually a nice determination deck. So I do not get. Uh, Harmed by a decay, pain, and regret. Thank you for the tier one sub, Z Diegi. Appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, man. Ten months. You got malice at the palace, baby. Malice at the palace. You guys know what malice at the palace is? Pocket watch is fantastic. Another determination. Ooh, double the strength. Zero damage equal to the size of your hands. Then you draw two cards. I think card draw is so good. And with Pocket Watch, this is a pretty decent damage card. Except the Dead On makes it awkward. Determination round two. But card draw makes Coalescence really good as well. Wait, this is a pretty good deck. This is a cool little deck. I like it. That's my first time playing the class, so I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm gonna take the gold, I'm gonna be greedy, and then I might have to rest for this next elite, for this boss. 
Yeah, I know I have pocket watch, but think about it. I, um... The, the dead on has to be applied with the, um... I guess I have concentration of the deck, so I could, I could make dead on work regardless. So maybe. Maybe I could have done it. Do a 22 damage and apply 3 boosts to all enemies. Bruise creatures take extra damage from attacks. After each hit, bruise re is reduced by 1. Damn, that sounds interesting. But 1 less energy next turn. Gain 7 block. Gains a 4 additional block if you have lost HP last turn. Gain 7 block. All enemies. Whoa! Flash powder is insane! Enemies lose strength! Count me up. That's a disarm. That's AoE. I can upgrade that and now I don't need to rest. Because this makes them lose strength. Nah, I don't need to rest. Pog. Double determination. Oof. But I don't want... Alright. Flash powder. Sick. Alright, this will be a good turn. This is a good turn. I... This is a good turn. This is one of them good turns. 19 damage, you say? 19 damage, you say? How do I make snapshot perfect? Because I also want to play flash powder. Oh, this works. It means I can also play Flash Powder. Sick. Now we're getting Strength Scaling. Determination. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Pocket Watch value. I want to play Spray and Pray and smack them up. Malice at the Palace. More Concentration. Does that last between turns? Oh! It only lasts per card played. Interesting. Spray and Pray, look at that. Woof! The damage is quite insane, my friend. Dude, look at what strength scaling we're getting with a double determination. We're at 22 strength. We're at 22 strength. We're at 28 strength with a doubt in our deck. 32 strength. It came to my realization that like the doubt is a weaken, which gives me two strength. Look how much strength scaling we just did. Holy crap, the deck is done. Deal 36 damage to everyone. Excuse me? That includes me, right? That includes me? Is that what I was trying to say? It's also including me? It's very specifically saying everyone. I think it includes me. Deal 16 damage for each curse in your hand. Whoa, that's good. Because I got pocket watch and I got quite a bit of curses. Stun. Any that don't tend to attack. Meaning they skip their turn. Stun is a powerful effect. Deal 18 to all enemies. If they don't intend to attack, you stun them. Stun is a...
powerful effect. It's not giving me a stun as a, as a keyword, but I'm pretty sure it means skip their turn, yeah? Like everybody knows what stun means. No, streamer, I don't. What does stun mean? I think Final Canter is the best thing for my deck at the moment, because I do have multiple curses. And it does dump my strength. And it is retain. But AoE with stun, interesting. Purgatory hitting me in the face, a little bit awkward. Transform three cards, can no longer smith, which is not bad considering I have uh, Molten Egg. Or Coffee Dripper, which is not bad because I have Sustain. Wait, this is probably a Coffee Dripper deck. Alright, it's a Coffee Dripper deck. Give me energy. Energy and card draw, I love it. Eh, These are really good relics. To be fair, these are broken relics. The class is could be a balanced class, but I have unbalanced relics. I want to do some elites. Finally, gonna see a shop as well. Malice at the palace. How much damage do we have? Twenty. Three. So 23. This is, this is Watcher esque math, alright? 23. Um, 41. 63. Plus. Alright, not quite lethal. So I can, if I can get Snapshot to work, then it would work, but no. Wait. Does Snapshot work here? One, two. When it's all said and done, does Snapshot work? And then I have Lethal if it does. It doesn't, right? Oh, if I do this first. Snapshot work. It says from the middle of your hand, right? If it's on the edge, I can't play it. If it's on the edge, I can't play it. Oh, I didn't think about boot. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. But luckily I have sustain. Gain soul block. Add an impending doom to your hand. Unplayable. Dead on. At the end of your turn, deal 13 damage to everyone. Uh, how about no? Deal 22 damage. Cost one less per strike or defend play this turn. Whenever you draw a curse, gain five block. Yes! Shadow Cloak. I can't say no to that. It's a curse deck. Let's go. We need more curses in our deck. Uh, this is quite hard, actually. This is quite hard. Okay, we're taking lots of damage, but we have sustain, right? More malice, more spray and pray. Spray and pray is good. It gives me more curses, and more curses gives me more debuffs, which gives me more strength, which gives me more card draw, which gives me more. Okay, I like it. Apotheosis. Oh, dual damage equal to your missing health. That's pretty good because we're gonna be low on health due to the um, due to the fact that we're depending on our sustained relics. That's interesting. Deal 4 damage, this card permanently gains 4 damage. If you get this early, this is kind of insane. This 
is a zero cost card that keeps getting four damage. Bronze Ghost is very good. I like Orrery. Apotheosis is interesting. Hmm. Wait, every turn I apply two brews to enemies? That's kind of nice. Okay. Uh, this is the Hermit mod. I'm going to take Bronze Skills. I'm going to take Orrery. Deal double damage. Dragon Shot is kind of nice. Alright. Let's not take so many random stuff. Draw all that many cards with Roulette. Interesting. Add a defender to Scarpa. Eh. Shuffle a Clumsy. Yes. Whenever you play Strike and Defend, draw a card. Oh, it's playing around Strike and Defend, huh? High Noon is interesting. Play around Strike and Defend, you gain a, you draw a card. Eh, that's not that great. Whenever you trigger Dead on Effect, your next attack does 3 more damage. This gives you Plated Armor? This gives you Plated Armor. What the frick? Too Rugged. Whenever you, If you were to take Unblocked Damage, to reduce it to 1 and lose 1 Rugged. If you were to take... Unblock damage, reduce it to one and lose one rugged. What? Deal seven damage. Gain energy up to your maximum. Okay, that's amazing. Rugged is amazing. Frail gives me more strength, but hey. Gain block and weaken? Yes, that's good. It gives me good block, which I need, and it gives me weaken, which is more strength. Another regret. Oh! I don't mind regret. Wait, this is kind of good. This is kind of good. Rugged is insanely busted. And with determination, this is the good stuff. I think they played armor from dive, but I'm curious. Does the concentration end last between turns? It doesn't, huh? Or it does. Oh, that's just in the middle of my hand. I got lucky. Okay. We're getting a lot of strength from all these debuffs. Look at these debuffs. My lord. Oh my lord. Wait, this class is snutty. Choose a card. It causes zero this combat. Discard the rest of your hand. Do you guys want to see Cursed Weapon? Yes, we do. Wait, this class is nutty, guys. Shadow Club is fantastic. It's going to be our block. How many curses? Uh, how many elites? I want to do a lot of elites. Let's do, what, two elites? Or, let's do a couple of elites here. Another Kunai Shuriken. Shuriken, Shuriken. Okay, whatever you trigger down effect, add a random card to put that in your hand. Okay. Shuriken is interesting, but do I need it? I think I get enough strength as it is. What about Dolly's Mirror? And we get more Rugged Effect. And we Dolly's Mirror the Rugged Effect here. That's a broken card. If we do Double Shadow Cloak, then we can have a lot of block from Curses as well. And with things like... Whenever we draw a Curse, draw a card. Where is that? Whenever you draw a curse, draw a card. Where is that thing called? I have a power that says draw a curse, draw a card. Where is it? Did I find the power randomly? Where is it? That's kind of interesting. Frex from Fairy Abs. I could have swear I had a thing that if you draw a curse, you draw a card. Hmm, I thought I saw that. Did I... Was I imagining things? See, I was thinking that curses are not too bad because of that. No, no, no. Draw a curse, draw a card. I, I saw it here. Maybe I, maybe I was getting confused with Covet. Maybe Covet is actually really good, though. To manage the curses and give me more card draw. Like, Covet's pretty good. It's one of the best cards in this class. And a second Spray and Prey is pretty good as a result. With two Covets. Covets actually really good for this class. Plated Armor is interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, I gotta get the draw curse, draw card thing. Oh my god, we have every sustained relic in the game. Fantastic. We got Malice at the palace. We got Malice at the palace. I didn't get to get pocket watch, but... Did the boot just get that extra dent? Did the boot just take away both my rugged? Wait, guys. Oh, I didn't have rugged applied. What am I talking about? I didn't have rugged applied. Whoops. Sorry, I lost track of him, sir. Look how many curses that block. Look how many curses that drew and got all that block. Fantastic. Draw three curses. Yes. Wait, and drawing curses is so good because I get blocked from it. Wait, this is really good too. Holy shit. Manifest is insane. Wait, drawing curses is nuts. I didn't realize I was a mechanic. Wait, this the game this class is broken. This class is broken. This class is broken. Anyway, we work very well with that class. With that, with that, with that um. Isn't Rugged just insane here? Isn't Rugged just nuts? <laughs> Another Shadow Cloak? Yes! Because I have Draw Curses now. I'm getting too many things though. I gotta like, tone it down a little bit. I am getting too many things to think. Out of control a little bit. I saw Darkstone, I said Darkstone would be interesting, but um, I, it was too expensive. I mentioned it. You can check the VOD, I mentioned it. This weapon's getting big. At the start of your turn, draw two cards and add an injury to your hand. Yes, yes. Reduce the cost of running cartridge. Yes, fatal desire is nuts. Wait, the card draw on this class is nuts. Yeah, the rugged is insane. Rugged just carries this fight. No damage.
I have full block here of spite. Which is crazy. It's like intangible. But no, it's like buffer because it's for, for that specific thing that is hitting you. Impending Doom counts as a curse. Play the top three top card dropout, shuffle shame. I'm gonna skip. I don't need all this stuff. I think my deck's done actually. My deck is done. I draw all my curses, which is unfortunate, but. It's like. The drawing on my curses was kind of bad because now I can't do Malice. Dragon Shot was bad though. I didn't mean to take Dragon Shot. I don't know why I took that card actually. Apply Bruce to all enemies. Um, I'm gonna skip all these. Spring Prey is really good for me though. All right, we do this. I think once we get all our powers out, like we're really good. So like once we set up all our powers, like these, we're obviously really really good here. Like our these powers are insane. These powers break me actually. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm over now. I broke. I broke the game. That's it. It's done. Beautiful. What a beautiful, what a beautiful thing. I should have waited to have more strength. I could use that as my final kill. Like, I'm so strong right now, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm very strong right now. What's up, Sophia? How you doing? I just use Gestalt and take, like, like minimal damage, but I have 30 strength already, like... Dude, the strength scaling on this is insane. Wow, wait, this class is fantastic. Just got off of work and now I'm off for the next few days, so I'm living on good life. Yes, that's exciting. Deal 11 damage of X times if fatal get a bounty. Bounty gives me 15 gold, 35 gold, or 75 gold. At the end of your turn, you can exhaust up to two cards. Gain five block for each card. You can't, you don't have to exhaust. You don't have to exhaust. We have so much card draw. Dead or alive. Interesting. What in the Ultra Instinct is this? It's a cool mod, man. I like it. It's a cool concept. I want Simpson Zero, though, so things look a little bit more powerful, of course. Here, let's do a dab. Straight out. Oh, running pyramid. Curse key. Curse key. Let's go. I welcome thee, curse key. I welcome thee. All right, we got to do the sparkle, and then we got to do... That's it. Five energy as well. Wow. It's a heart run for sure. Absolutely.
I didn't play Curse Weapon in that fight though, did I? Bird face, can we go X? Do we have any X cost cards? No. Juzu, no. Manifest is so good. Holy shit. Manifest needs to be upgraded, but it's so good. Manifest is like one of the best cards I can I can have in my deck. It's so good. Manifest is insane. Who called Kursky? Who was it? I have rugged here, so um Shadow X Clone, thanks for the follow, buddy. Any shadow cloak out earlier as much, it's really important actually. One fight would be sick. One fight would be get like the final nail in the coffin. One fight hand is the final nail. That's all I need. Dude, Spite is so good though. I've seen him move everything else but Spite and, and a few other cards. Attrition allows you to play con uh, dead on from what, any position. Is it gonna hurt? Dude, Adapt is insane too. Exhaust cards and game block for it? That's insane. Squadron can add the four rares cards from drop part of your hand. Four rares cards. Hmm. Gain energy to your maximum. That's good. I have big hands, so gain energy to my maximum is actually really good because I have five max energy. So that's really good. Adding just all is fantastic. Let's draw some curses here. I need Shadow Cloak, that's what I need. Oh, that's a big final center. I don't even mind if I get a curse here. I could exhaust, but I don't need to. There's a thing that draws cards with curses though, which I need to put. Shadow Cloak. I don't mind the Parasite, do I? Not really. I still have Rugged, right? Brian, thank you for the tier 1 sub, man. Appreciate it. Let's do this Elite. Max HP, yikes. But I have good... Uh, Good. What's it called? Scaling. Let's get our shadow cloaks out. My scaling's pretty good. Shadow cloak needs to come out though. There's one shadow cloak. Let's get our strength scaling going. And maybe the plated armor there. Our strength is getting pretty high though. 
Ooh, Eye of the Storm is nuts. Let's play that. Ah, we don't need to right now, actually. Let's just wait. Let's hold on to Final Center. Let's hold on to... F I, should, I, could, I should exhaust my defense. I don't need defense. I'd rather just draw to Curses. I don't need my defense, actually. I just realized... I just draw, I get rid of my defense and I don't draw curses and I just have like an insane deck that's like constantly drawing, constantly doing damage. And we, we're always weakened, but we don't really care. Oh, look at this. Now we keep drawing. Oh, it wasn't dead on. Whoops. <laughs> it wasn't dead on. Dion, you got me, buddy. You had me in the first half. I must, I must, I must say, you got me in the first half. They had us in the first half. Who needs defense? Who needs defense, man? Curses are my defense. Bag of prep. That's good. For each card you've exhausted this combat, a random enemy. What? No, you're you're fine, Dion. You're fine. But what? So his flash powder was really good there too, but whoa, okay. Now we're scaling in damage as well. When we are exhausting. That's insane. This is the hermit. Welcome to the hermit, my friends. Super cool, super cool character. Very unique. I don't want to take too much damage though, that's the only problem. This is where I need rugged. Artworks, artwork's great, yep, I agree. I love, I love, it's really well made. Look at the artworks. I mean, honestly, look at the defend. Just look at the defend card. Or even track and shut. But like, it's very good art. Oh, there are blocks a little bit suspect when we don't have the shadow. Um. So uh, we scale up in blocks. So what happens is like our shadow cloak comes up and then we start scaling with curses in our deck and then we start getting blocked. But at first our block is quite bad. Like very bad. Rugged allows us to kick some ass. Yeah, the strength, it doesn't matter at all because of strength, exactly. But yeah, we scale with block for sure. But Rugged basically wins the game here. Wait, what? Oh, Rugged only works at attack damage? No. Don't say that. I need a recall. Oh, but I want to upgrade. Shadow Cloak. Alright, get rid of that. Another regret, no worries. Regret doesn't affect me. Quite literally, regret does not affect me. We got our Shadow Cloak, which is fantastic. We got Adapt Out, which is fantastic. We got more Card Draw, which is fantastic. Sick. Get the def we don't need defense in our deck. Get him out of here.
The boot's quite nice. He still hurts though. But now we got auto block. Let's go. Don't need defense anymore. All we need is these uh, curses. Shadow Cloak. Now we get 14 block for each curse. Feels good, man. I don't need to dive anymore. Right, let's go for the kill. Final center for the kill. Let's go for the kill. Oh, we can go for the kill here. You ready? Manifest. GG. Gain for plated armor. You just get a plated armor potion? Do you have anything damage at a strike plus? I'll take the four plate armor. Yes, sir. That sounds good. I don't have Shadow Cloak, so this actually hurts. <laughs> I didn't have Shadow Cloak, that actually hurt like hell. Luckily, we saved our ass and didn't take any more damage. But that was actually potentially really bad. I'm literally exhausted on my dis defense. If I can play this class again, I can do things a lot better too. Let's do a final center. Wait, isn't From Beyond kind of insane right now? Oh, wow. Calibers would be insane in this class. Oh, wow. Black. Apply six brews, nice. More rugged, oh baby. Get a rare relic, upgrade all cards, or heal the fool. Heal the fool and get a curse. Let's go for a rare relic. This is cool. Look at all these ruggeds. Look at all these ruggeds. Oh, I didn't have curses to draw. Whoops. What's up, Young's Poodles? How you doing, buddy? Gain gold? Fine. I'll take it. I'm pretty good, man. Alright, what rare relic do we get? Captain's Wheel, fantastic. Alright, let's go get the uh, meal ticket sustain.
How many questions do I have in my draw? Oh, perfect. Full block. Look at that. From beyond makes him lose HP so it goes through block. Ah, so good. It's so good. This could upgrade them any number of times. Oh, there's such a thing as a maintenance link. I was kind of wondering, why are the cards that give me skills and defense? Now this card shows up. This could upgrade your strikes and defense any number of times. So we gotta make a maintenance deck at some point. Because I was wondering, like, why I keep why would you want to keep offering all these strikes and defense? This is why. That's cool. Strength and defect deck. Interesting. Emerson card. Draw all your strikes and defense. Oh my god, with maintenance? Maintenance and fully loaded. Look at this. Main isn't fully loaded. That's the combo made in hell. Heaven, I mean. Let's do that. Do that. Let's save money for the next Act 4 shop. Recall. Boom. Let's get our rugged out. Well, let's do this. Ah. I'll get my one rugged out then. Waste both of them here. It's okay. Brain prey. Eye of the storm, manifesto. Oh shit, wait, I need to play one more card. I can only have one card next turn. Somebody. All I need is one card. That's all I need. All I need is one card. Got Discovery in the deck. Life's good. I love it. Do some snipage. Some from beyondage. What's up, buddy? I'll take you out now. Go for the kill now. Alright, where'd he go? What's it? Alright. Uh, tons of block, tons of block. Tons of block. My deck generates versus. Beautiful. Uh, let's go kill the heart. Let's go kick the heart's ass. Let's go kick the heart's ass with the hermit. My dog's uh, crying. I think it's time for what, what time is it right now? All right, he wants full time and walk time. All right, let's let's do this. Let's do this with flying colors. Do I want? I want that to be more playable. I also want to have discovery more than once, but at the same time, this is fine. All right, how much gold do we have? Quite a decent amount. Medical hit's not bad. I like all these upgrades actually. I got discovery upgraded. Pug. Let's get the power pot. Let's power pot call it a day. All right, boys, we should be able to do this with flying colors. And before I lose, I'd be very, very much gain one rugged. Increase the card of this card by one this combat. Whoa, continuous rugged. That's interesting. That is interesting. Weaken myself, but it's okay because we have strength scaling. I 
I need I need my shadow cloak. It's very important that I get my shadow cloak. Because as a result, now we're missing so much block. Shadow cloak makes the deck the deck. Without it, I'm nothing. Without shadow cloak, I am nothing. There it is. I got rugged anyways. Uh, it's GG. Four rugged is game over. Time to do the kill. Final center. It's the final countdown. Yeah. I don't know why I added medical kit, but here we are. Medical kit has been added. Dissolve. I know. It's a lot to keep up with these these mods. All right. Twenty thopter, great. Now we have even more sustain. Exhaust any number of curses from your drop pile. Heal four HP for each. Whoa. Sick cards. Sick cards. I like it. All right, guys. Let's play all the cards. Let's do all the things. One, two, three. Let's see what this is. Whenever you play striker defend, draw a card. Whenever debuff is applied to you, add more strength. Yes. Adapt. Let's go. I didn't play rugged yet though, but I do want to stop the vulnerable here. Shadow Cloak. I need Shadow Cloak. Shadow Cloak and the game's over. Shadow Cloak and the game's over. There's one. Alright, sick, sick, sick. Don't need defense. All I need Shadow Cloak and I'm good. I can exhaust two defense at a time for my deck. Fantastic. Who needs trigger it? Just give me free exhaust. Termination, spray and pray. Man, Ascension one heart is quite easy. I must say, I must say. Interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead and manifest the palace real quick. Manifest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put your protection from your scarper into your hands. Just do just stalt. Actually, do I have any curses? I need more curses in my deck. Now that I think about it. Oh, I gave vulnerable to myself. Why did I do that? Why did I add vulnerable to myself? That's crazy. Exhaust four cards now. Oh, it just gives me ten block per exhausted card. Holy shit. That's silly.
Yeah, it gives me 10 block instead of 4 cards. Interesting. GG! So, Rugged is like a buffer, basically. Cool mod, guys. Cool mod. I still have to explore a little bit more. There's interesting stuff going on here, but... Interesting first look. Let's see the ending. This is beautiful. Almost late. 